So welcome to the kickstart course. We're starting our ice breaking stuff right now. Um, yeah, let's see. So what does this mean? Mm. Well, you have 10 minutes to sort of get used to things, make sure everyone's connected all right, and so on. You see the course page shared right here. The most important thing to note is this HackMD thing that we shared with you, if you registered. So if you open it, it looks like this. So you can switch between a uh, an HTML view and a edit view. So instead of using chat, what we use here is this. So that way you can ask a question anytime and then we can answer sort of asynchronously. Mm. And you'll see how this works pretty well. So if you scroll to the bottom, you see questions and answers. So um, just like this. So here someone has asked, we don't need Zoom now. And that's correct. So our strategy is that Zoom is for exercises and the live stream is for the teaching and so on. So we'll go and we'll be talking and so on and say, okay, now at this time, please, we'll do some exercises. Here's what it will be. Go to your Zoom and then work on them. Of course, you don't have to use Zoom. You could be following along yourself. You could do it yourself. You could do it with your own team in um, your, like in a physical meeting room, if you're like that, whatever. I mean, it's also okay to sort of be watching the live stream and see what you learn and then join whenever. So yeah, here we see a demonstration of the answer. So it's appeared here live. The most important thing to note is that don't put any names on here or any personal information. This is public, it's saved, it could be broadcast and recorded. Let's just not have anything there, except the names of the staff. So we start off with Icebreaker. So what's your background and why are you here? So maybe I'll go to the edit mode. I will scroll down. Uh, why can't I scroll? There. Hmm. So we need some places for people to right and let's start um and i'll start writing like this so yeah uh please fill in something here See if I push this button, it appears here. Great. And you could also use this to give initial feedback on things. So, how do you think? Um, like, do you have any special request for the course? Do you want hmm, yeah, any comments on the schedule? Whatever like that. Is there anything that's missing from the schedule that you would really like to have added? I guess you mentioned basically when you're done this editing, you can click back to go on view mode because sometimes if there's more than 100 people writing at the same time, it might get a bit 
it's low, but it's coping quite well. There's 100 and test one, two. Anyone on the stream, is my audio better or worse now? Microphones. Okay, so what else? What other preparation do we have? Yeah, I mean, I hope that everyone's as excited here as we are. We had how many people did we have register in the end? Well, in the end, we were two sixty. Two sixty. So okay. Quite a, kind of one third from Alto, and then many, many from Helsinki University and Tampa University. So it's nice that we are. Yeah. Having a nationwide <laughs> community yeah. of people who want to learn about scientific content. Yeah. yeah. I was hoping we could break uh, 300 people, but we aren't quite there yet. Well, and I guess, yeah. And I guess it's important to note you don't have to register to attend this course. Feel free to send the live stream link to whoever may want to attend, post it publicly, all that kind of stuff. The Zoom, please register for that, or at least don't send it around to, like, don't post it publicly. But anyone who would like to follow is by all means welcome to find our thing and come. Hmm. Uh, it's, really, it's really nice to see that so many people are working with so different things. It's like we, this is also good. What I like of scientific computing because you know we all come from so big different backgrounds and very diverse past and interests, but still we find you know the the common need that brings us together. And, yeah. That looks okay. like people have got a good idea on this, I think. The, uh, yeah. We can use it for questions. Someone was writing that I'm not loud enough, I can scream. Yeah. <clears throat> Although it looks like HackMD is already having some issues here with all the simultaneous edits. Maybe. Please switch to view mode if you aren't actively editing. And I think it will get better. And if some of our HackMD specialists can go and remove some of the blank space in between here. Well, I've seen this happen before. OK, well, it's about uh, 12 o'clock, so maybe I should begin with the introduction. Any objections? Go ahead. Okay. So 